Hey, today I want to share with you a unique method to make money online in Singapore. But if you're watching this from other countries, it will work as well. You just have to take this concept and apply it specifically to your location. And the best part is you don't need any prior knowledge, experience or skill. If you have the experience or skill, good. But if you don't, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to show you ways that you can get that knowledge. Basically, anybody can do this. I know it sounds a little bit sketchy, but just watch the video to the end and judge it for yourself, all right? And if at any one point on this video you're finding this information valuable, then hit the thumbs up button till it turns blue. I really appreciate that. Every single like you give will help this video reach out to more people and to help more people. So thank you for that. And if you would like more make money online tips, then be sure to subscribe to the channel with the bells on so you won't miss any videos. So without further ado, let's get you cracking to earn that extra money. Let's go. Now I'm going to walk you through step by step on how this works so stay all the way to the end and if you're on this video to the end, I'm going to share with you a bonus training that will help you make even more money. It's not a clickbait or anything close to that, it's something valuable so you'll be the judge towards the end of the video. So let me explain what we are going to do. We are going to use Google Maps and we are going to find businesses that are neglecting their online presence and we are going to provide a service to them. And don't worry, even if you don't know how to provide that service, I'm going to show you how. So the first thing you need to do is to identify what type of services you want to provide. So to do that, we'll go to Google and we'll search for types of services and I'll click on this article. So what we are looking for are B2C businesses, businesses that provide a service to consumers because usually when consumers want to find a service around them, they will search for a term on Google and Google Maps will appear. Like for example, if I go to Google and search for nearest barber google maps will appear with the top listed businesses around my area now i'm using vpn and that's why it's not showing singapore but normally when you search for something nearest or around me or even just the service itself google maps will appear with the search results of the business around you so let's see what b2c services we are looking for we have consultancy which is not something that we want to look for and we have our information technology and these are not exactly the b2c services we are looking for we are looking for something like um education Education and childcare, tuition center, we have cleaning services, maintenance services, accountant, lawyer, healthcare, maybe clinics, dentists, hair salons. So these are the types of B2C services we are looking for. But for this example, we'll look into tuition because tuition is a big thing in Singapore. A lot of parents are looking for tuition centers for their kids. And although Singapore is very small, normally parents will want to find a tuition center near their homes. So typically, once you've decided on the service you want to provide, the next step is to go to Google Maps. So here we are on Google Maps and what we need to do is to type in a service and you want to nail it down to a very specific location like for example, tuition centers near Red Hill. Red Hill is a location in Singapore and let's see. So what we are looking for on the surface is if the information of each listed business is filled out. So we want to look for businesses that have not claimed their business on Google Maps. They don't have proper images, they have poor reviews and maybe even poorly done website. Those are the businesses that we want to target so that we can help them build their digital presence and have their business listed at the top when people are searching for relevant keywords on Google Maps or Google, which inherently will lead to more customers and leads. Now, before we check out those businesses with poor digital presence, let's check out some model examples first. So for example, this Thrive Learning Center, they have claimed this business, they have an address, they have a phone number, but they don't have a website. So maybe we can provide a website building service for this company, but this is not a model example. Let's search for another one. How about this? So this business has been claimed, they have their phone number, their website, their address, they have some images here, and they have even provided their operating hours, and they even have some reviews. So this is a model example, we are going to help businesses claim their business, at phone number, at operating hours, at images, and stuff for companies that have not claimed their business. So now let's check out some tuition centers that has been losing businesses to this Excel tuition center. So let's say... Lean Tuition Center at Bukit Merah. They have not claimed the business. They have a phone number. They have an address. No operating hours. Poor location images. 
And let's check out their website. Okay, they have a website, but it is not HTTPS, which is not secure and it is not good for Google rankings. So this is the opportunity here. Let's say Compass Tuition Center. So this is a raw example. There's nobody who claimed this business. There's no address, there's no phone number, no operating hours, no website. So this is exactly what we are talking about. We're going to provide a service to them to build up their digital presence and to help them attract more customers. Because basically, if a tuition center do not have all this information in there and they do not have good reviews, it's highly unlikely that any parent will want to put their children at those tuition center. And it just makes sense. So for this case, we need to contact Compass Tuition Center, but we don't have the phone number, we don't have a website or an email address. So what we need to do is to go on to Google, search for Compass Tuition Center. So as you can see, they only have a Facebook page. And if you just click on it, the only way to message this business is actually to send a Facebook message. Or if you pick another business on the Google Maps, like for example, the Lin Tuition Center, you can actually contact them by phone or you can send them a message through their website. So now you're gonna contact Lin Tuition Center and Compass Tuition Center, but what exactly you're gonna message them? I'm gonna give you an example. You're gonna write something like, Hello, my name is so-and-so. I happen to search for a tuition center near me for my kids. If you don't have kids, then maybe your niece or your nephew. And you're gonna continue with, And I happen to know that your business isn't ranking well on Google for the search term tuition center near Red Hill, which I presume is a important search term for your business. And you can include a screenshot of this with an arrow here, maybe saying you are at the bottom of the page or something like that to grab their attention. Then you can continue to say you're actually losing a lot of business to your competitors. And if you want to be more specific, you can even include the name of the competitors, which you can find here. These are all the top competitors. I'm pretty sure the recipient will know the competitors around. So if you include the name of the competitors, it makes it even more real for them. Now, what I'm doing here is to grab their attention, making them believe that you're actually doing something genuine like searching for a nearest tuition center. Because if you immediately say that you're a digital marketer or you do so-and-so stuff for businesses, they may not even look at what you're going to offer and you're going to lose that business immediately. So you want to sound like it is a genuine coincidence that you are a digital marketer looking for a service that are related to the their business. Then you want to continue with this is partly due to the fact that your business is not claimed and then you can show a screenshot of this with an arrow pointing to claim this business and then you can continue with now I'm a digital marketer who has been helping small businesses build and grow their online presence and it so happened that I chanced upon your business while researching for a tuition center near me for my kids and hence the reason I'm contacting you. So if you like I can claim your business for you for free you can contact me by my phone or reply to this email. So if you if you want this template, the link is right down below in the description. You can go check it out. Now you might be wondering why provide this service for free when you can charge them for this service, right? And it is because if you start asking for money right up front, they will most likely ignore you and you've implanted an idea onto them that they should be looking for someone credible to do the service for them. So you'll be losing out. So one or two things will happen. They will either ignore you, but the chances are unlikely if you did what I recommend you do, or they will contact you sounding skeptical and all because most business owners are smart people and they believe that there is no free lunch in this world. Well, but you are really going to do the things for free and in the process you need to build a relationship with them to make things work. The free work that you are providing is actually a very simple task that can be done in a few minutes but the key here is you are going to build a relationship and provide other services that they need after you have fulfilled the free thing that you're going to do for them. So when they have contacted you, you can click on this claim this business and you'll be on the phone with them and you walk them through the process. Then you'll ask them for images of their business and you will upload images for them. You can also ask them about their phone number, operating hours. It takes probably around 10 minutes to complete the entire job. Now, how you're going to make money is like this. Before you get the job done, you will tell them that claiming the business and all the stuff that you did are just the first step. And to get to the top few search results and actually attract high quality customers, there are a lot more things to be done. Like you can create a website for them for $500 to $800, crafting a high converting lead capture page so that whoever is interested to learn more about their tuition center, they can capture the contact information so that the tuition center can reach out to those parents. For this, you can charge maybe $100. Then you can help them get reviews from existing customers for $40. This will help with the Google business listing on Google Maps and also 
Google SEO ranking to keep their business listing at the top. And then you can charge a $200 to $250 per month with a three months minimum. Now the main concern here is you don't know how to provide that service. So here's the key. You will outsource that service to someone else on either Fiverr, Upwork, Freelancer or whatever to fulfill the task. So for example, if you go to Fiverr and search for Google Maps optimization, you see this person providing services like this and he has quite a good review. And if you click onto this gig and you understand a little bit about this, it's best to understand what these services are when you're engaging a freelancer. And in just a while, I'll share with you the place to get this knowledge for free. And the most important thing is that you're not going to fork out any money up front to employ a freelancer. You're gonna get the money from the client and you're gonna use that money to employ a cheap but high quality freelancer to do the work as I've shown you just now. So your profits is the difference between what you got from your client less the expenses you pay to the freelancer to do the work. So if you charge a couple of hundreds to your client and you pay only 20 to $30 to employ the freelancer, you're gonna make a handsome profit out of it. Now, another concern you might have is why can't a business owner just head out to find a freelancer themselves, right? That would be much cheaper. Now, the thing is because you are the one who took notice of their business and you genuinely provided a free service for them. And of course, you need to do a good job. But because you have built a relationship with them, they will see you as someone that they can trust. They will be more likely to engage you rather than someone else. Because firstly, if they are going to find a freelancer, they need to take the time to research and employ the right person for the job. And most likely, they won't have the experience to do do that otherwise they would have really done it and secondly they may not have someone who can take charge and manage all this digital stuff it's very expensive to hire a full-time employee to manage their digital marketing so you are basically positioning yourself as the go-to person to grow their online presence and another concern you might have is you yourself do not have the knowledge and experience to manage a business like this and that's why I recommend that you get some knowledge first because without the surface level knowledge you wouldn't know what to expect from your freelance and if your client is asking you some technical questions, you might not know how to answer. So it's best that you get some knowledge first before you start this business. So the place I recommend you visit is smallbusiness.withgoogle.com slash free-google-training. This is basically a resource created by Google to help small local businesses grow. So as you're learning this, it actually teaches you how to manage small local businesses digitally. So they are actually teaching you how to find the right freelancers as well, as you can see right over here. So it is exactly what you're gonna do but you're not actually doing the work you're managing the work of your freelancer and appearing like you're the one fulfilling the service to your client this is a credible way to make money online without spending any money it just takes a little hard work at first and as you are getting the flow of how everything works it's gonna be much easier for you as long as you're providing good work for your clients your client base will grow so this is not only focused on tuition centers there are so many other different types of services that you can provide so if one deal didn't work out go for the next the opportunity is endless so whether or not you are from any parts of the world you can definitely use this google maps method to make money online but it would be wise to start with your local area first because you know your hometown best and this can work across many different types of services there is a simple term for this and it's basically called drop servicing which means you're appearing to provide a service to your client but you're actually outsourcing the service to someone else to fulfill it and you're making a profit between how much you charge the client and how much you actually pay your freelancer to do the work. Now, there are other methods to do drop servicing, which is to list your services on sites like Gumtree or Carousel, which is a passive method. You're hoping for someone to engage your service so that you can outsource it to someone else. But the problem is that you are competing with many other service providers, which may drive your price down. But with the method I share with you, it's a proactive method, which will help you build a relationship with your client, provide multiple services that will help your client grow, and at the same time, eliminate any competitors so that you can charge a lot more and earn a lot more. So I hope that this method can help you make some extra cash. Now, as promised from the start of this video, I want to share with you the free training that will give you tons of value that a lot of people will charge you thousands of dollars to get this knowledge. Just look over to the right. That's the video you want to watch and please watch it to the end because I promise you're going to learn tons of stuff that will put you in the right direction to make a lot of money online. And before you go, remember to subscribe, turn that bell on. I'll continue to give you more value and thanks for watching i really appreciate you being here i'll see you on the next video